Okay, friends, we are going to learn about whales. And I'm going to read this nonfiction book to you about whales. Remember, nonfiction means it's a true book. It has facts in it. Water mammals. Whales spend their lives in the ocean, but whales are not fish. Whales are mammals. Like other mammals, whales breathe air. Whale mothers give birth to live babies. They feed their babies with milk. And this is a sperm whale. Mothers and babies. A baby whale is called a calf. A calf can swim on its own as soon as it is born. The mother stays with the calf to feed and protect it. They stay together for about a year. These are humpback whales. How whales breathe. Whales come to the top of the water to breathe. Whales breathe through a blowhole. A blowhole is an opening at the top of a whale's head. Here's the blowhole. And this is a mink whale. Whales swim together in groups called pods. Pods hunt and feed together. They take care of their young together too. This is a pod of pilot whales. Two kinds of whales. One kind of whale is a toothed whale. A toothed whale has one blowhole. It has pointy teeth. It uses its teeth to catch and hold food. So here's a picture of a beluga whale and they have teeth. The other kind of whale is a baleen whale. A baleen whale has two blowholes. It has baleen plates instead of teeth. A baleen whale takes water into its mouth. It lets the water out through its plates. Then it eats the food that is left. So here's an up close picture of baleen. It's like a type of, um, type of teeth that, um, they don't look like teeth though, do they? They suck in water and they squeeze the water out and all the tiny fish are kind of trapped inside. A blue whale is a baleen whale. It is the largest animal on earth. It's about as long as two city buses. Sizing up whales. Take a look at the sizes of these whales. Compare the size of the man to sizes of the whales. So look, this is a man, he's six feet, Here's a pilot whale, 20 feet, right whale, 50 feet, blue whale, 110 feet, humpback whale, 50 feet, mink whale, 30 feet, gray whale, 45 feet, a beluga whale, 15 feet, and a sperm whale, 55 feet. Strong swimmers. Whales are very strong swimmers. Their large tail fins are called flukes. They move their flukes to push through the water. Some whales use their flukes to leap out of the water. They then drop back down. This makes a huge splash. And this is a humpback whale. When they jump out of the water just for fun, they call that breaching. How whales hear. Some whales use sounds to find their way. The whale makes a sound, then it listens to the echo that comes back. The whale can tell where something is by how fast the echo comes back. So see, it's making a sound. The sound bounces off an object and the whale can hear it. So it's called echolocation. People love to watch whales. It's so exciting to see a whale splashing up from under the sea. And again, there's a picture of the humpback whale. Okay, um, so I hope you remembered some things from that book. Um, and I'm gonna ask you questions. So some whales have teeth and some whales have something that kind of hangs down. They suck in water, push it out. Do you remember what that's called? Baleen. Okay, what is a baby whale called? It's called a calf. Good. What about a group of whales? What are they called? Same as a dolphin, they're called a pod. Okay, and is a whale a fish? What kind of animal is it? It's a mammal. And so to be a mammal, there's a couple things that you need to do. Um, do mammals breathe through gills underwater? Do they breathe in water? No, they breathe air just like we do. So they need to breathe. Also, what about the babies? The babies have to drink milk from their mom and they are also born alive, okay? 
I hope you enjoyed learning about whales. They're pretty awesome animals.